Viewer discretion is advised. <clears throat> me, my mo, me, my mo. Really, the clacker? Yes, that's all I wanted to do. Well, anyway, we're going to skip the intro today because we're doing a show on hot sauce, and I've been eating hot sauce for a good portion of today, and my stomach's feeling a little. But anyway, I wanted to do a show about the hot sauces that we use because, you know, when you eat plant-based, sometimes the fruit could be a little bland. It's up to you to spice it up. I mean, you can go ahead and, you know, go all the vegan processed food route, you know, but that's just as bad as regular fast food sometimes. So here's the hot sauces we use. So these are our everyday hot sauces made with cayenne pepper, vinegar, water, you know, jalapeno pepper. And this is my favorite, Frank's Red Hot. Absolutely love this sauce, but Kelly got this for the show. It's cute, but this would only last like two days in my house. This is what I keep in my house. So you can see it's about two days old. There's already, already almost an eighth of it gone. So we love us some Frank's Red Hot. Another thing that we're absolute fiends for is Green Dragon Hot Sauce. Now Trader Joe's brand is the one that we found that's the best. This is made with tomatillos, not tomatoes, tomatillos, which they look like tomatoes, completely different. Jalapenos and cilantro, a really tasty sauce. And this is your regular run-of-the-mill sriracha sauce made with chilies and garlic and Kelly used to call this rotten ketchup when she was a kid because she hated it now she puts it on everything now these two now these are all run-of-the-mill everyday ones you can get in your grocery store these ones we special ordered this first one I had to get because it's called brother brew brews and the reason why brother brew brews it reminds me of Troy this is Troy now that there is a cute little feller He's actually my brother. Everyone thinks I'm his dad, but I'm not. We're actually brothers, and we call each other bra bra. Yeah, he talks to me. No, don't look at me like that. Your dog talks to you too. You just don't listen. Brother Brew Bruce hot sauce. It's made with habanero peppers and African spices. Now, I don't know what those spices are. I'm not going to ask any questions. I'm just looking forward to this. Salt tasting. free. It's salt free. Oh. That's the thing we need to tell the people. It was at that moment that Rob realized he f***ed up. Salt free, we're really promoting heart health lately. And if anyone has a sodium problem or any kind of hypertension problem, blood pressure problem, you want to go with the low salt or the no salt one, like Brother Brew Brews. And then, crikey, this is from Australia. God. Did you just face palm me? No. Mm -mm. Confidence build. This is shit the bed hot sauce. Now, anyone that knows me knows that I'm going to try anything that says shit the bed. This is made with the scorpion pepper. You're probably seeing it all over the Food Network shows. People seeing how many they can eat. Well, you know what? I'm going to go and try these two on some food. Now, this is Daya, Daya Pizza. I've been vegan for about a year and a half now, and I never had Daya, Daya Pizza or whatever. We love the cheese. The cheese is awesome, but... I never really heard anything good about this pizza. I actually heard it was quite horrible. So I'm going to be tasting hot sauce for the first time and possibly bad. I know there's no bad pizza out there, but I heard this is pretty bad. So, all right, let's go to try the Brother Brew Brews first. I don't know how much to put on, so. That's enough. It's pretty hot. Sometimes too much is just enough. Getting the, the habanero, a sweet smell. Oh, man. The, ch the diet cheese is, is awesome. Yep, I'm getting on the roof of my mouth now. <laughs> I'm gonna take a small sip. This is almond milk, and I don't know why I have almond milk. The sugar and the fat in the almond milk will neutralize the capsaicin. Capsaicin is the component in chili peppers that brings the heat. That's so sexy. Oh, I mean, I'm not here right now. Oh, that's why. So yeah, so the almond milk is gonna help a little bit with the heat. Brother Brew Brews, yeah, that's some awesome stuff. Now, hmm. We're gonna go with shit the bed from our buddies down under in Australia. Try not to do too much, but whenever I ever tried not to do that. Oh, Jesus Christ, that looks like a lot. Don't worry, I have my almond, my capsaicin fighting almond milk here. Oh yeah, I put too much on. Mmm, just like this, you get the sweetness from Hot and Arrow. On this, it's not really a sweetness, you get a vinegariness. That's actually quite, yep, tip of my tongue, I'm getting numb now. That's the scorpion pepper in the that scorp one. That's the really hot pepper. Yeah, but you, you could taste that vinegariness in a scorpion pepper. And it's just amazing how it affects the different parts of your tongue. Actually, wow, they're really, really good. So, yeah, they're delivering a lot of heat, but there's a lot of flavor there. I can't believe that this is no sodium. I mean, 
I mean, maybe it's because it's like, you know, burning the inside of my eyelids right now, but it's actually really good. It's got a lot of flavor. And the scorpion pepper one, I know that, okay. <laughs> it's really starting to wind its way down my throat now with the burn. It's not unpleasant. It's definitely not unpleasant at all, but you definitely probably don't want to do this before you're going to kiss your mate or get on a conference call with a really important client. Let's make some stuff and dip some stuff. Do you really want to clack her again? No, it's all right. No clacker again. We'll let her clacker again. The stuff you do for the ones you love. Kelly was awesome whipping up a couple sauces for us. Now, this is a spicy mayo. Now, this is the stuff that you get from the sushi place that they'll charge you a dollar for like a little couple of teaspoons, like maybe half a teaspoon for. So we use uh, vegan mayonnaise. We like just mayo, some sesame oil, and of course, Frank's Red Hot. And it's more of like a little Asian thing with us. I mean, you could certainly dip it in anything, but I'm going to try it with some tofu. Mm, that's really good. I love, out of everything, in that spicy mayo, the sesame oil comes out. and That deep, smoky sesame taste is awesome. This is pretty simple. It's sriracha and, again, mayonnaise. So this is spicy mayo. This is sriracha mayo, just in case you keep in case you keep in score. I love potatoes in anything. When I saw The Martian with Matt Damon, I was like, yes, yes, you can live off potatoes. We like to dip potatoes in it. You get, Kelly was right, like that rotten ketchup, but really sweet kind of, you know, delicious ketchup flavor with the creaminess of a mayonnaise. To stay healthy, I always balance out my potatoes with broccoli. Mm. And honestly, any dipping sauce will work with any of these things. I mean, that spicy mayo is so good. I always say I would put it on my shoe and it would taste good, but one of my favorites is coming up next, peanut butter. So as you can tell, we put the light back on it, got a little stoned before and forgot to you know, put the electric back on. This is gonna be a peanut sauce with sriracha on top of it. Now you have to either the microwave or right off the boil, you gotta do this quick because- Oh, that's a lot. That peanut butter. <laughs> That's a lot of peanut butter. I love me some peanut butter. The peanut butter is gonna seize if, uh, if if you let it cool off. And you really don't wanna, when you're melting the peanut butter, to add any kind of hot sauce because the water in it is gonna make it seize. It's gonna be like peanut spackle. And honestly, at 10 o'clock at night, it tasted pretty good. But the peanut sauce, some sriracha, I never thought in my life I would ever like tofu this much. Mm. It should never come out of your mouth. Oh, I would go plant-based, but it's a little bland. It's not bland. With all these hot sauces and all these combinations and sauces you can make, you could honestly have a different flavor every night during the week and never repeat yourself. Chow down on this tofu. This is Life of Rob Brazy. I want to thank you guys so much. Please check us out on Facebook. Please check us out on YouTube. And I hope you guys have a great, great day. And I hope you flavor your food a little better. Don't be lazy.